Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. Now we are at the final sub series of this uh, advanced course. Here in this uh, sub series, we will see how to create Windows service. In this video, we will learn the basics of Windows service. A Windows service is a process. So we know that executable is a process, right? So likewise, Windows service is also a executable. So it can be seen as a process. The desktop application can be started by the user usually. But a Windows service is run by the Windows OS itself. So that means that there will be a start mode in case of uh, automatic start mode the service will be started when windows starts however if you keep it as manual the service will be started by the user so here we told that windows service is run by the windows os itself right so this will be true when the service is set to automatic so that means the os will start the service when windows starts but if you keep it as manual, then it will be started by the user whenever it is needed. A service should not have any user interface to avoid user interaction. So service is kind of a background task which will run in the background of OS. So a Windows service is suitable for doing a background task that does not require any user intervention for example creating a log file and capturing the memory usage of a specific application so the service will keep on monitoring the specific application and generates the log file so in this case if you see it doesn't require any user interaction and this task can be seen as a service task or service task To create a service based application, you have to check your Visual Studio edition and it supports creating the service. So usually the enterprise edition will definitely support creating the service. If you have a professional edition that will also support. Anyhow, it's good idea to check whether your edition is supporting uh, creation of service based project so if you are so if you are using community edition just check whether uh, uh, creating the service is possible all right in this sub series we will create a service which writes running count to windows event logger so since this is just an example and we are learning how to create service, deploy the service, all the stuff, we are taking a simple example of creating a running count and writing that to the Windows event logger. You can extend your service to a specific task, like uh, so it depends on your uh, need. All right, that's all I have to know about the service. There is no demo here in this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.